my name is Tracy today is Tuesday and I thought it would be the perfect week to film a vlog a work week in my life I wanted to film this week because I wanted to see how I keep up with my self-care this week because it's going to be busy at work I actually have a zoom call in 45 minutes that I need to be on um <laughs> I have the month of May took me back to all of my old habits um, and I definitely wanted to share that with you guys because when you're trying to shift or change a way of being in your life it's really easy to go back to the old way but the difference is for me is whenever I go back the old way I don't like it anymore like I remember when I was from vegetarian to eating vegan and then had chicken wings with my dad and my sister um and my teeth touched the bone of the chicken wing and i was like ew that was alive and so i didn't like the old way i used to be anymore same thing with budgeting whenever i just get wild and crazy with my budgeting living my life away living my life the way I did before I learned how to budget I'm like ew I don't like that feeling so the month of May was me just doing whatever I wanted to do okay not completely totally um getting into my self-care I didn't even I realized this weekend when I was working on the June Pinterest board that I didn't even make the May Pinterest board live. That's how crazy May got for me. Um, and so I don't like that busy feeling. I don't like that overwhelm. I don't like always having something to do. I don't like my planner full. I don't like that boss babe situation. I don't like it. That's not for me. I don't want to go back to that place. So, um, I did have to uh, leave the house yesterday. My goal was to really recharge this weekend because our company gave us Friday before Memorial Day off. So, I had a four-day weekend. And my intention was to truly, truly rest Saturday and Sunday and zone out, airplane mode, all that good stuff. And I did. Um, and Monday, I had a birthday party to go to. So, I went to a party yesterday. Um, and then I was so happy to see everyone because I hadn't seen them in so long and it was the best sweetest most fun party um, but I don't want to be busy so aside from the party I needed that you know I needed to see my Nashville family but just aside from that just the busyness work has been insane um, our conference is coming up this week and I, when I sat down and planned this week out, I really planned chunks of time just to be, just to recharge myself to exist. And I also added water trackers in my planner this week because I wanted to make sure that I am hydrating and taking good care of myself, which I need to go get a bottle of water in a minute. But um, I'm interested to see how I really can implement self-care when I'm truly, truly busy and making sure that I'm taking care of myself. And I don't mean just... I need to do my nails or I need to find someone to do my brows for me. I don't mean just that. I mean those moments where I get to just be quiet and reflect and listen and be still. Those to me are the best parts of self-care when I can just take a, month, a minute to be still and just to listen to what my body is telling me. Um, and those are the things that I really need to be highly aware of today. Um, so this week actually i need to be highly aware of this week and like i said i just didn't like going back to the old way of being super super busy all the time so anyway i'm going to do this laundry finish folding this laundry get some water clean my desk and hop on this zoom call i am okay are you rejuvenated and well rested i am <laughs> I'm rejuvenated. I don't know how well rested I am. <laughs> well, I think the rejuvenation is what you needed most, huh? It is. It is. So, did my emails make sense that I sent? Yeah. The, I just, uh, I hadn't had something to drink yet. <laughs> well, I, try, I told her back, I said, I sent something yesterday to try to put it all in an email. Right. Because when everybody gets on here and starts, then I get scattered. I
Mondays, Tuesday, I've literally ever experienced. And I am spent. I can't take another email or another phone call. I just can't take it. <laughs> I, it's about 6.45, 6.30, As soon as 6 o'clock hit, I left. I don't have anywhere to go, but I needed to get out of this apartment. So I just took a book back to the library, put the sunroof back. It's really cloudy out, a few raindrops. I didn't care. A little rain is not going to mess up my hair. <laughs> and I was like, ah. <sighs> so I am going to mute. <laughs> I'm going to mute my computer so I don't hear the emails. And I'm going to put my phone on off work so I don't hear it ring. And I'm done for the night. I am done. This is how we're taking care of ourselves today. We're getting off on time. <sighs> and I am going to watch Psych. I've already eaten dinner. Um, I don't want anything else, but yeah, today kicked my ass. Okay. <sighs> See you tomorrow. <laughs> It is a little bit afternoon, probably 10, 15 minutes afternoon. I had some oatmeal with blueberries and pecans. It was so good. I put some chia seeds and cinnamon in it as well. And I am going to rest for about an hour and a half. I have done all I can do right now. I didn't sleep well last night at all. It was just yesterday was so insanely busy and there was a big to do that came up yesterday that my... <clears throat> manager had to get involved in and that just took hours to resolve and it was just so draining and I'm just, I did not sleep well at all and I'm so so tired um and I had another problem I could not figure out but I finally figured it out probably about two o'clock this morning and so I'm just really really tired so I have set my alarm for an hour and a half and I'm gonna take a nap <laughs> I'm gonna take a whole nap then I get up <laughs> and do a few things around the house before I get back to work at two o'clock. But I'm gonna take a good two hour break just to uh, decompress. So that is how I am taking care of myself today. Up, my session ended up ending 20 minutes early. It was just so nice because I was able to make myself some dinner. This is just leftovers, kind of have what I had from the other day. I hadn't uh, put the vegan pesto on it yet, but this is sauteed zucchini, onion, um, some canned chickpeas, some whole wheat pasta with zucchini, onion. I sprinkled some follow your heart feta cheese, feta cheese on top, and then dice up some tomato. It's a really cool, delicious little combination that's packed full of protein. So I'm gonna have this. Um, it is 7.20 now. I'm gonna have this, watch a little bit of YouTube while I do it. Then I'm gonna load the dishwasher and do my night routine. And I'm gonna call it a night. My session was 
rough and smooth at the same time. I had a discussant who just kept having technical difficulties, but there was really nothing I could do to help her because it was really on her end. But it ended up being totally okay. Everything was fine in my session and 20 minutes early, so everything's looking good. So I am going to make sure I take my nightcap tonight because I didn't last night. I'm gonna take it tonight and I am going to go to bed and I will catch up with you guys tomorrow. I'm speaking today if you hear <clears throat> noises in the background so this week one of the things I really wanted to focus on was small habits um, last year I listened to the book atomic habits and it really is just about those small things you do every single day that make a big difference so this is my planner here this is a b6 uh, vegan leather no teak disc bound planner so this is what my week looks like as you can see it's really really busy i have all of my session times in for today so my work day does start at eight o'clock but my sessions begin at 9 20 and they don't end until 7 p.m tonight um i have a total of four sessions and i also have the exhibitor event that i have to attend to so my manager had prepped us really really well letting us know that this would be a really busy week for us and that thursday we would have about five minutes between each each session to like grab a drink get a snack or do whatever but i knew it was really important for me to take care of myself so i won't be completely exhausted so what i did was i made sure i wardrobe prepped this week i picked clothes that would be comfortable for me to work in I have been working on creating a really simple makeup routine, which I love that makes it really easy for me to get dressed, even though I'm not on camera, just in case anything goes wrong. And I do have to pop on camera. I don't have to get ready. I'm already ready. Um, doing one load of laundry a day has really kept anxiety away. Um, this is something I have been trying to really work on for a while, but I just thought every morning before I make my coffee, let me just do the load of laundry also making my coffee every morning and doing just like a quick wipe down or unloading the dishwasher and all those little things really have helped me so much in the last few days while it has been so incredibly busy and it has i am overwhelmed i'm not gonna lie it lie but i feel like i'm gonna make it versus i'm not gonna make it you i think you guys probably know the difference there's sometimes you're like oh i'm overwhelmed but we got this and there's sometimes you're like i need somebody to call jesus i ain't gonna make it so um just creating those little habits and really taking care of myself have really been a big help for me but one thing that i have to really work on as far as my night routine goes is my night cap i take this little magnesium powder called calm and on the nights that i don't take it i really don't function very well the next day um so that's something that i really got to add into my habits and make sure that i get started doing that every single day but anyway i wanted to just catch up with you guys and say happy thursday today is going to be a really really busy day i don't know how much camera time 
we gonna have <laughs> but um it's time for me to go ahead and hop to it it's just about eight o'clock now so i will see you as the day goes on we totally did it it was it was a week <laughs> I'm so happy I vlogged because knowing that I could just kind of share a little bit with you made the day a, made the week a lot easier as well as it kind of gave me a little something to look forward to other than sitting at that desk all day 
anyway, um, I'm so happy that I really paid attention and prioritized myself during this week as well because right now I don't want wine as bad as I thought I would. I really want kombucha <laughs> so I'm actually going to put some kombucha in a wine glass. I'm going to read a little bit more of my book and I'm going to take everything off y'all. I'm about to take everything out. <laughs> I'm about to take off my makeup, my contacts, these earrings, this dress. What's under the dress? I'm going to take everything out. <laughs> I'm going to take it all off. And I'm going to sit here, which is my favorite spot on my sofa. And I am going to read um, as many pages as I can get through this book before I just fall asleep. Um, I like to put on a little music when I read. So I'll find something fun on YouTube because they're cutting the grass. So if I can drown out the sound of them cutting the grass. I'm going to put a little music on, put some kombucha in a wine glass, sit here and read. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me this week. I really hope you made it to this part of the <laughs> of the video. I appreciate you guys so, so much. Thank you so much. And if no one else told you today, I love you. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye, beautiful.